to him for the vacation in Christy Simone. He needs a couple days off to rest the vocal cords so he can come back on tomorrow. No, he's coming back on Wednesday, Thursday, later in the week. He'll be back. Just have to find out who the other guest hosts are while we're filling in for him. We have one of my food favorites up in Marana in studio today, along with one of the founders of the Marana Brewery Club. We have Patrick, who's man in the uh, video right now, but we have Ashley, one of the bartenders at Casa Marana. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Um, so, Casa Marana, tell us a little bit about it and what you guys do and how you do, other than the fact that you have this sensational, amazing pizza. So, we're, we start off as oh, a big hang small. On a second. Matt, how are we doing? Can we get her mic? How about now? Hello. Yeah, we're going to move her over. Hold on one second. <laughs> We're going to change the mic for you real quick. We're having a little technical difficulty. Bear with us, folks. How about now? Ah, we got you. All right. This is Ashley from Casa Marana. Say hi. Hi, how's it going? Welcome to the studio. All right. So, Casa Marana, you so, guys are located in Marana, right there off Courtney Page? Yeah. The other side? Cortero and Arizona Pavilions. Arizona Pavilions. Very good. And in the back little corner, and you have this amazing pizza. Yeah, so we started the pizza off, I think about two years ago, and we had a pizza truck actually, that the original owner bought, modified, and he put a little pizza oven in there. Um, and that worked perfectly for the time, but as we grew and expand, we actually got an authentic Neapolitan pizza oven shipped from Italy into the bar, and that opened up a lot of doors for us because we were able to do more than one or two pizzas, and now we're doing panini, salads, the pretzel bites, uh, the donut holes. It's Kyle, right? Kyle. Yeah. yeah. I was talking to Kyle when I said, "Hey, when where did this come from?" And you just said that they shipped it over from Italy. Mm -hmm. It is an amazing pizza oven. It's incredible. And I'm telling you, we did a Cosmorana, we did a Marana Brewery Club event there, and I was watching the two guys, two kids, they were making the pizzas. And they're yeah. turning around, they're flinging them in, pulling up the peel. It doesn't take but six or eight minutes to cook a pizza perfectly connect, perfect, just absolute crispy crust and great melted cheese. You guys use really good quality ingredients. Too. We do, yeah, we take pride in that. And they have such hard workers, you know, they're little machines whenever we get going on the weekends. Well, you mentioned the pretzel bites and you mentioned little donut bites. Those, they, they take their pizza dough, they chop it up into little bite-sized pieces, cover it in olive oil. For the pretzel bites, they do it with a little bit of uh, sea salt over the top, stick it in, it cooks, and like I said, about three to five minutes, they come out these little perfectly puffed little balls of dough with a little pretzel salt on it, and then they serve, I, I believe it's cheese or it's mushroom. hot queso yeah. dip, yeah. And the cheese Fantastic. is really good. And then the cinnamon crusted little donut bites. Ooh, daughter's favorite. So every time we go, we get those to go home. So, yeah, and they're good. really good. Stick them in the air fryer on the reheat for just about two minutes. Wow, perfect, just like fresh out of the oven. Oh, air fryer, that's a good tip. So you know what I was uh, when I was in Italy one time we got a pizza and um, it was the dessert pizza and it had Nutella on it. Oh. We were in Naples and um, so the the dessert pizza with the Nutella on it and it, at first I kind of looked at it like I don't think so. Man, was it good. Yeah. Oh, it was amazing. But there's nothing like Napolitano pizza and I'm looking forward to going back to Italy here pretty soon. And um, I am quite excited about it, just the food in general. I haven't had the pleasure of going to Italy, but people say it's as close as they've come in a long time. So the pizza with the prosciutto on it. Mm -hmm. The Bianca? Oh my goodness. So fresh, thinly sliced prosciutto over the top, great mozzarella cheese. They stick it in this oven. It all gets nice and bubbly and hot and crispy crust on the outside. They send it out. And I believe it's a little arugula over top. Mm -hmm. And fresh arugula. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Yeah, it's it's divine. It really is. Ooh. It really is. Um, haven't had any salad yet. Haven't had the panini yet. Had the loaf of bread. Took that home with the olive oil on the side. Mm -hmm. Again, they take the dough, they stick it in there, and that's just a food portion. We haven't even mentioned the beer yet. <laughs> well, I, you know, there's there's uh, two plates sitting here with tin foil over them. Those are uh, those one with pizza and one with pizza. Two different kinds of pizza. <laughs> you, kinds of you brought in the pepperoni pizza? I brought in the quarantine. Um, that's the one that has cooked prosciutto, pepperoni, gorgonzola, and a little bit of balsamic glaze on top. Um, so it's a bit sweet, salty, it's one of my favorites. And then the pollo pesto is my absolute favorite. It is just um, pesto sauce, olive oil, fresh mozzarella, tomatoes, and chicken. So good. And the 
the uh, mozzarella that you guys use. Mm -hmm. Fresh mozzarella. We have fresh and shredded. It just depends on the pizza. I was going to say, because I believe that I got the fresh mozzarella with the prosciutto on top of the arugula. Mm -hmm. And that, that when, you, when you stick that back, in, uh, it was, I picked the, picked the arugula up, put it on the plate, stuck it in the air fryer, cooked a piece of pizza back the next morning, and put the arugula back on. It's amazing the way you guys cook that. So tell us a little bit about your beer. Oh, the beer is so much fun. We do as much locals as we can, but really just craft is our main thing. Um, we always carry domestics in the bottle. It's just for that option. But we switch out most of our kegs. We keep probably 10 consistently, but the rest of them, we get one keg, and when that goes, we get a brand new thing of something else. So there's always something new to try. Good rotation. Yep. Yeah. Now, I don't drink beer, but there's something at your place that nobody else has. The seltzers? The sweet tea. The sweet tea. So I like John Daly's. Good. And John, for those who don't know, John Daly is vodka, lemonade, and iced tea. Typically, it's non-sweet iced tea. The wife likes sweet tea. So we were sitting there during the Marana Brewery Club uh, uh, happy hour, and I said, well, let's make me a John Daly. She and the bartender at the time said, do you want sweet tea or regular? I'm like, ooh, try the sweet tea. Gave it to the wife. New favorite drink. Can't taste the vodka. Can't taste the vodka. No, that's the goal, <laughs> it's right? perfect. <laughs> yes. Um, now, do you have stuff to go as well? Because you have those big glass doors with all the beer behind it. Yeah. Can yeah, you can take any of those to go. And even <laughs> the beers on draft, we offer growlers and stuff. So you guys can Very good. Going. Hours of operation? Uh, 11.30 a.m. till 2 a.m. every single day. Every single day. And pizza oven fired up right at 11.30 so I can come at in for lunch? 11.30 as well so you can come in for lunch. We shut it down at 9 p.m. Sunday to Wednesday, and then 11 p.m. Thursday to Saturday. Thursday to Saturday. Patrick, yes. welcome to the show. What, see if that mic's working. Test, test. Yeah, no, no Patrick. We got no Patrick yet. That's <laughs> Sorry, okay. Um, what do you mostly serve Patrick when he comes in? Buffalo Trace on the rocks. The <laughs> 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 barber speaks again. We had a great time on Saturday. Well, if you're not familiar, I'm sure you're familiar with Nana's, the right around the corner yeah, from you. Their 14 year anniversary was, was on Saturday. Really good time. Uh, if you haven't had the bourbon flight at Nana's, you got to try that. The guys had it on the weekend, and it was amazing. It's $60, but one of the bourbons that they're doing over there is uh, $1,800 for a bottle. You guys serve spirits and liquor as well. We do, yeah. And that's, full bar. Yeah, you got a full bar. So uh, the one thing that you have that not many other bars have, I can go in and I can play foosball. Mm -hmm. I can play ping pong. Uh, I think you could play pong pong. Or beer pong. Beer pong. Beer pong. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, giant Jenga, cornhole. It's a great we atmosphere, skip it. it really is. We family oriented, it, I just yeah. want to say. You can take your whole family, the kids are going to be busy doing their stuff while like you sit down and relax. And oh, we got you back. You're good. Yeah. You're alive. Oh, Keep going. Good. Say that again. You can yeah, do that so with your family? I mean, you can take your family there to Casa Moran and where the kids can go play games and you relax and do all your drink and your pizza. And you're in a safe environment. I think it's a really good atmosphere for a, a family to just go out and have pizza. Well, the other thing that's coming up is this all this beautiful weather we're having. Oh, so yeah. your outdoor patio. It's incredible. It's going to be packed. A little hot in the summer, but that's Arizona for us. It's southern Arizona. Nobody's patio is really going crazy in the middle of the summer. But with this nice weather, we've got the next six months coming up and the monsoon storms in the evening. So it's a great spot to go have a nice little beer with the family, like like Patrick said. Mm -hmm. And you can keep the kids a little preoccupied and busy because my daughter loves the foosball. <laughs> it's Probably a lot of fun. fun. Yes. And then the ping pong. You got to talk about the ping pong. Every now and again, they lose a ball, which takes another three to five minutes to go hunt for the ball. So that's good. It's normally over by the beer cooler. Um, what is your favorite thing on the menu? Ooh, uh, probably the melee pizza. What's on the melee pizza? It is sweet and salty. So it weirds a lot of people out, but there's honey on it before we cook it. Olive oil, uh, shredded Parmesan and shredded mozzarella and sausage. Really? Yeah, I've sweet, savory, so good. So. The guys put the honey on the dough before they put the sauce down? So there's no sauce. There's no red tomato sauce. It's honey and olive oil, and that's your base. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I know what I'm going for lunch this week. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, 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 that sounds amazing because I love the sweet and savory aspect of it. And you got the, the two salty cheeses to, to come in with the sausage. So the honey and the olive oil is going to make a great mix. I haven't tried that yet. I got to try that one. Mm -hmm. I love finding all new things. This is great. Um, <laughs> We ask every guest that comes out, and I'll get ready because we're going to take you out to the top of the hour, but before we go to break real quick, if you were to go and have a night out, mm -hmm. local restaurant, don't say Chili's because I'll come across the table, <laughs> where are you going to go? Ooh. Tough. That is a it's tough It's always a tough question. Let's do this. We're going to tease you. 
We're going to come back with Ashlyn's re response from Casa Marana. Patrick's here with us as well. Yes. We'll talk a little bit on what's going on on the 17th of September. Remember that date as well, but we're going to come back after this break and we're going to find out what Ashland's favorite local places to go. I'll give you two or three when you come back. Any questions for Casa Marana, give us a quick call. 1030 The Voice, Trust the Local News and Talk, 5207902040. Be right back. Let's wake up Tucson. We've got Casa Marana and Marana Brewery Club in the house today. Eating some amazing pizza with this great balsamic glaze on it. Ashlyn from Casa Marana, thanks for joining us again. When we went to break, I asked you what are some of your local places you like to go and I threw you for a loop because it, it, it's hard to put people on a spot like that. And we always do it. We did it to Patrick and Stutter and Stammer, so it was great. <laughs> um, where do you like to go? It's always hard to pick a favorite. Um, Trident is one of my good go-tos. I'll go there consistently, lunch, dinner. Good stuff. Um, Whiskey Roads is always a good time. I like Box Yard downtown. Ooh, Box Yard. There's yeah. one I haven't been to. They're a fun time. Good they choice. make pretty good burritos. Dog friendly, just like us in ah. Casa Marana, so I love that. My dogs are bigger than both of you. I've got great things. They, well, yeah, they're very friendly. friendly, that's the problem. They're <laughs> right. 90 pounds. They want to come sit in your lap, so I will bring them. My German Shepherd's the same. Yeah. She's a little too fluffy. Tries yeah. to follow me. <laughs> uh, right in your center, you've got a bunch of places. You've got uh, Sushi Cortero, you've got Nana's, you've got yourself. So good little niche of uh, uh, restaurants right there, native on the end. So just in case anybody's not familiar where you're at, you're in that shopping center there, all there on the corner in the back. Parking can sometimes be a little bit of a, a challenge. It can, yeah. And so get there early. Jill, have everybody show up in one car if you can. Carpool is just save <laughs> Carpool, space. Carpool, Uber. Absolutely. Oh, Uber is the best because mm -hmm. it's right there back and forth. So now we don't have to drink and drive. You can have as much as you yeah. like. Exactly. I, I like going because that whole strip, you can just bar hop or yeah. even, you know, every place has food. I mean, you can just stop by each place and have a drink and and not have to drive anywhere, so hit them, hit them all while you're there. Speaking of food, you just don't have pizza. We don't just have pizza. We have salads, paninis, and the paninis are so good. We take the pizza dough and bake it, and then that's actually the fresh bread that we use to build the panini inside. So the same fresh bread that you can order on the menu with the olive oil and, and balsamic on mm -hmm. the side, is that what you get your panini in? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, good lord. Yeah, and if you have a prosciutto sandwich, I can only imagine. With oh. the cheeses and the prosciutto and the arugula that you use, this is good stuff. It is very good. Um, it's quickly becoming one of my go-tos. When I want pizza, I like to make pizza myself, but your crust, the chew in the crust, and the, the, the good crispy char that you get from that oven, I can't duplicate that at all, which is what I like to try to do. Shelly, what do you think of the pizza? Well, I, I think people maybe thought I left, but I didn't. Uh, I have been here eating the pizza. It was amazing. Which one did I have, Ashlyn? The, the chicken? pollo pesto. Pollo pesto. Absolutely amazing. And as I said, I've spent a lot of time in Italy. I've eaten a lot of pizza in Naples. And this is as close as I can get without buying the ticket. This was wonderful. Pollo pesto. Oh, it was so I didn't leave. So I'm looking at your website, which is casamarana.com, casamarana.com, and you can see all the information. They've got their phone number on there, their hours, uh, and when you see some of the events that they're they're having, things they've done. Um, wow, it really looks exciting. And I like one of the things that you have on your website. It says a place for community. Yeah. I really like that idea. That's pretty I, much our ultimate goal, of trying to have something for everybody, and that's why we actually have so much stuff. <laughs> and, and, you know, I was going to say, you mentioned it, and I'll thank you for it. You guys have trivia nights. We do. And it's not just your normal, this is not a normal boring bar, guys. <laughs> by, any way, by any stretch of the imagination. Far from it. You've got a, a bunch of people behind the bar that are good, fun, outgoing people. Um, you did a trivia night, and it was during the, the brewery club, and I can't, it was a show that I had never heard of. I believe it was New Girl. That's it. Yes, thank oh, you. Yeah. Oh, I know New Girl. Yeah. <laughs> the, sorry. the member, no, no, keep, you're good. Just glad that you know it because I had no clue. Right. Lady walks in and she's wearing like a flannel and a shirt and she's playing one of the characters and now that three other girls walk in wearing a flannel shirt, I'm like, what the hell is going on here? And I had to ask. And then one of the bartenders is one of the hosts for trivia and she says, oh, it's New Girl trivia. No clue what New Girl's anything about it. These people sitting to our right, they knew every answer. It was amazing. And they do trivia, is it every Tuesday night? It's every other Tuesday. Every other Tuesday. And they do themes, so it's not, I mean, they go all out. I mean, it's, they're gonna have some fun with it, they're gonna enjoy themselves, and like they said, sense of community, come on in, have a good party, good time. It's like you're sitting in your living room with 40 of your closest friends watching a trivia game, it's just a lot of fun. 
we actually do a costume contest. So that's when people start dressing up and stuff, and that makes it so much fun. Explains why they're a dressed in character. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. I was like, you're really this much into New Girl? I've never heard of this thing, and you're dressed up like somebody. Um, I learned a lot about New Girl that night, too. <laughs> so if they're having a trivia night and you're unfamiliar with what the subject is, just go. You'll learn. Well, tomorrow is How I Met Your Mother trivia starting at 7. Oh, my gosh. Oh, really? Oh. Yep. Uh oh. I'm excited for that one. Oh, that should yes. Be fun. Oh. Yes. I've talked to the one in front of this. We need to go out tomorrow. Uh, yeah, you may need to go out. Yeah, and have to, have to season it <laughs> that way. Yeah. Um, favorite sandwich? The Marcus. What's on the Marcus? It's fresh mozzarella, prosciutto, capicola, Ooh. Um, and then basil, olive oil, balsamic glaze. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Yes, that's. I like to cook. My, th my favorite thing to make is do a um, uh, bruschetta, so bruschetta based tomato base, and then put that over chicken with the, with the uh, balsamic little glaze and a little fresh basil over the top of that and the fresh mozzarella. Yes, on your bread, it's amazing. That sounds incredible. Yeah. Uh, Patrick. Yes, sir. We'll put you on the spot. What's your favorite thing on the menu? I'm going to go with your um, quattro carne. The quattro carne? Yeah, the pizza. A I'm a meat eating person, so I mean, throw all sorts of meats on that pizza, babe. It's the best. And I'll tell you, uh, the best follow up to that is that's what I ordered when yeah. we were there for the, for the brewery club party. Right. And I, you can't, it's, we don't have smell vision, number one. You don't have vision <laughs> on radio. But the best part about it is you can take that four meat pizza, you can pick it up. And even though it's cut in triangles, it doesn't do New York style and flap the smack you in the elbow. When you pick it up, it doesn't ooze grease. It's, they use a good high quality meat with just enough fat in it to give you the perfect balance of flavor and that melty little meatness that you get with it. But it doesn't produce the pile of grease. You don't pick it up. And that was the impressive thing. The tin that you guys serve it on, you pick it up and it didn't have that puddle of oil underneath it. There was no extra liquid running down your elbow. That's important. <laughs> That's true. That is true. It's, it's yeah. a key fact yeah. because you go to some places, you pick up their pepperoni pizza and you need to dab it off with a napkin. Can I get a beach towel to soak up some of the oil spill over here? <laughs> and you don't have that customer on. They use high quality ingredients. Mm -hmm. They're very good. Obviously, you get that good curl on the, on the pepperoni because the oven's so hot. The nice char on the crust. I could talk about this all day long. Boy, you are really good at talking about this. I mean, you are. I've never eaten there, and I don't like it that well. <laughs> wow. Not a fan at all. Wow. It's definitely a fat kid favorite. It's also a baby fat kid favorite. Max been there three times. He's only two months old now, so. Well, so think about that. He's been there three times. He's only two months old. <laughs> that that should say it all. Uh, everybody should go to the website at castamarana.com and look at everything that's there. And, and I'm telling you, it's. I don't know, 8.30 in the morning, and I'm eating pizza, and I love it. I feel like I'm a college kid again, you know, when you wake up and you flip open the pizza box from last night and finish it off. Pizza but is more this healthier than cereal. Oh, gosh. New studies came out. Really? So eating pizza in the morning is better for you than eating a bowl of cereal. Yeah, more protein. That more protein, pizza, less sugar. The the one, the, the, the pollo pesto, pesto. Mm -hmm. the one that I just ate is definitely more healthy. It is so yummy, so tasty. The crust is amazing, and that would be uh, that would be one that that is uh, boy that is a breakfast, lunch, or dinner pizza. Yeah, and then the balsamic vinegar on the pepperoni. I, almost I didn't better. try that one yet. You should. It's I, almost oh, like a little will. sweet dessert flavor on the back end. Mm -hmm. So it's very good. I, I definitely will try it. We haven't mentioned uh, what's your favorite beer. Are you a beer drinker? That's what I was going to ask. I am a beer drinker. Um, I like more hazy IPAs. So right now we have 18th Hour from Crooked Tooth. Shout out to Cricket Tooth. They're mm -hmm. also great, local. Um, they're probably one of my favorites. And if that's not there, Orderville, Modern Times. Orderville, describe that one. Uh, it's also a hazy IPA. What's a hazy IPA for those who don't drink beer? Um, so it's an IPA that hasn't been filtered. So some say it's like a lazy IPA, but there's just more flavor. It's a little bit sweet, has that citrusy aspect to it. So a little dirty, cloudy. Exactly. Gotcha, cloudy. gotcha. Okay, so almost like a Hefeweizen with the same... Similar. Hefeweizen is more like um, not in taste, but in beer. look. Yeah. Yeah, but in the style, similar. Yeah. Oh, very cool, very cool. Uh, hours of operation again. Eleven thirty a.m. to a.m. every single day. Every single day, pizza till nine, weekends till eleven. Yep. There we go. We've got a minute left. Love that you guys came on. Very, very good. Patrick, you wanted to talk about uh, anniversary we're going to have. <laughs> yes, September seventeenth, Marana Brewery Club's five year anniversary at Catalina Brewery, from four to seven. Um, lots of special uh, pricing on beer, um, events, uh, the food. Uh, we're going to have a VIP hour for those VIP members that can come in and have their beer, and, and there'll be a special setup for them, and, and they'll be able to eat for free. 
Uh, yeah. And then any music and entertainment? On the live entertainment, yes, we'll be there. I, I believe it's Unwound. We'll be playing it's a country bar, a country band. Nice. You know, so and that's September 7th yes. at Catalina Brewery. Perfect. Awesome round Thank you for joining us, actually. And we'll come see you here real short. Shelly Tice, again, always wonderful time. Loved having you. First hour was amazing and all the way through. Everybody have a great day. It's Monday. Love to be with you guys tomorrow. We'll be right back. Thanks, Sean.